I just saw you were logging out, so I thought I'd stop by and give you something. A little welcome gift. We give awards to our top-notch employees for doing quality work. And they're nice to have, since there's no official bonus scheme here. I already have about 11 or so. Oh. Bonjour. Of course. I'll pass it on. Well, looks like Olivier wants to meet with you. It's exciting. Follow me. It's on the top floor, so it's not hard to find. But the rest of this building can be confusing to first-timers, so we had the tools team whip up a great map application. Check your communicator. I added a waypoint to Olivier's office. Should be easy to find. Olivier's a nice guy. He won't bite. your animus. I'm sort of the uh, Scotty of this Abstergo enterprise, in charge of all the techie stuff. Do you have a minute? Oh, ah, oh. oh, damn it. The tracker says you're on your way to Olivier's office. Ah, all right. I'll ping you when you're done. I have a favor to ask. Bonjour. Go right in. He's waiting for you. Well, well, unless you are specifically ordering me to abandon it, I won't uh, jeopardize our flagship project. Edward Kenway is the... But this is... But this is how Hollywood got its start, right? With pirate movies. Douglas Fairbanks, Errol Flynn, and now we have access to the real deal. <sighs> wait, wait. Exactly. We'll talk about all that together at the shareholders' event. Right. Looking forward to seeing you too. Take care, Letizia. Salut! Hi! Thanks for coming in. I know you're busy. So, I reviewed some of your data. Pretty raw stuff. Obviously, we need to scrub off some of the dirt to make it family-friendly. Maybe give Edward a voice like uh, James Bond or something. More of a ladies' man. A beautiful city, no? So the main reason I asked you here concerns is something called the Observatory. It's uh, been mentioned a few times in the footage you found. I'd like to encourage you to focus on locating this specific set of memories as soon as possible. If it were up to me, on s'en curious. I wouldn't bother. But some bigwigs at Abstergo Industries have been hounding me for days. So, follow whatever leads you find and hopefully we can... Oh, incoming call. I have to take this. We'll keep in touch. Bonne journée. Alan, bonjour. Oui, 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 tout va bien. Naturellement. Hi, John from IT again. You got a second? Good. I'm adding a waypoint to your map. So, uh, a colleague of yours left for vacation this morning and forgot to send a video file she promised me. Since I hate just about everyone else on your floor, I was hoping you could help me. Could you transfer the file from her computer and deliver it to the courier when she comes? It'll be easy. You just wander over to their animus, log in, and transfer the file. Easy. And please be snappy before I find a reason to hate you, too. A locked door. <laughs> Not a problem. That's the advantage of me having level one security clearance. Now, you do, too. Don't abuse it. Log on and I'll walk you through this. Now, you need to bypass the core to find the data inside. Once you reach it, your communicator will download it automatically. 
You need to find your way around the core to reach the data inside. section in your communicator and you'll be redirected right away everything you download will be found in there uh protected by a firewall of course Tonight, hope. Now zip on down to the lobby. Come on. See that file you acquired? I wouldn't recommend watching it. I mean, ooh, you could, but it's unpleasant. So once you hand it off, just pretend this never happened, okay? Otherwise, you'll just go to bed feeling sad. Anyway, the courier should be waiting downstairs. She's been here a while. I suppose it goes without saying, just because you now know how to hack all your colleagues' computers, it doesn't mean you should. I mean, not every day, right? <laughs> no, seriously, though, that's illegal, so don't be a dick. Unless that's your nature. I am not sure I can keep this up, you know? This job is well below my skill level. Yeah, well, your coffee is shit. You could use some practice. What? what? No, no, no. I... Oh, look who's here. So you didn't forget, after all, you're just incredibly rude. And made poor Rebecca here wait for nearly 30 minutes. You lie me. Be nice. Sorry about him. He's high on his own supply. So, how should we do this? Data transfer? Great. That should do it. We'll email you the receipt. Till next time. Take care, Sean. Bye-bye. Yes, bye. And don't expect any more free coffee. Arrogant. She's great, isn't she? Hey, I just got word the courier has come and gone. Wonderful, you're a miracle. No, 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 that's an exaggeration. You're not a miracle. You're an employee. Doing a job. But thanks for helping out. Anyway, thanks. Have fun pirating. Assistance au niveau 2, projet échantillon 17. Support to the second floor, sample 17 project. Where you go in the market? No, I. My parents have asked me to come live with them, and I'd like to. Oh, what do you mean, live with them? You live here with me. I'm sorry, Edward, but my father is right. You had a decent wage when you worked for farm. Why can you not be satisfied with that, with me? Decent wage? That job was near as damn it to robbery. You want to be married to a peasant the whole of your life? All right, Edward. All right. You leave now, Caroline. You'll never know what's coming to us. Caroline! Caroline! Oh. Shit. Wake up, can we? What's that about? He left this morning with the galleon, as Faith will discover a good use for this old cove ourselves. Aye, we'll make something of it in time. We could keep a fleet here if we like. And with a bit of fixing up, it'd be a decent place to call home. Might even convince my wife to come one day. You're married, are you? In God's eyes, I am. She left me some time ago. Even so, keep that fact hid away. Most of these pirates don't respect a man with higher commitments than rum and plunder. Upon mine honor, let me know if you find anything.
Edward! Over here! I found something. You must see this! Come on, man! Odd-looking things, aren't they? Old and weathered. Is this what they call Mayan? Or is it Aztec? Are you good with riddles, Edward? Puzzles and ponderings and the like. No worse than the next man, why? I think you've a natural gift for it. The way you think and work. The way you understand the world. Well, I don't know about that. You're talking in riddles now and I don't understand a word. Clamber on top of this thing here, will you? Help me solve something. Concentrate and focus all your senses. Look past shadow and sound, deep into matter, until you see and hear a kind of shimmering. A shimmering? You understand? I think so. I've seen its like before. Glowing like moonlight on the ocean. Every man and woman on this earth has in them a kind of intuition hidden deep away. I've had this sense most of my life. You are a gifted man, Edward. Has a strange look. Is it worth something? Nothing you can spend. But if you find all of them, it'll lead to something grand. How many? A few dozen, I think. This way. I have something else to show you. I found something else just here. I think I'll take this secret much faster. Now this has the makings of a mystery. Good, isn't it? Here we are. What do you think? I think Monsieur Ducasse was a man of many secrets. Aye, and look here. A solid staircase leading God knows where. What do you suppose lies at the top? From what I knew of Decasse, I wouldn't be surprised to find eclectic instruments of torture and villainy. An Iron Maiden or a collection of thumbscrews. Or a pair of... Not a nice way to kick off. But that is some damn fine gear. Try the key you took from Ducasse. That's one. Only four left. Aye. It might be that these four Templars have them. See the names here? 
They've been sent to kill these four targets. Hang me, that's the map I sold to Governor Torres in Havana. He said it marked the location of assassin encampments. You think maybe you owe them a bit of warning, then? If you have any kind of heart beating in that chest. Suppose I could. If it leads me to the four other keys. Bad excuse is better than none at all. Leaving already. I think this cove suits you best, Edward. Better than that costume does. Oh, come on now. We're pirates, kid. We take as we please and become who we like. Self-made men. But that look ain't you. It's not who you are. Who am I, then? Hard to tell some days. All I know is you like dangerous prizes. Like the observatory. I think you know more about that than you let on in NASA. You noticed that, did you? Meet me at 20 degrees, three minutes latitude just off the coast of Yucatan. I'll have something to show you there in a few weeks' time.
Tikuno, junto al Winig Sub, Uconigel Mashake, Bukahu Masuptal, Yangual Tiletie.
Jesus, kid! We're on to something. I can feel it. Captain Kenway? What is the assassin, Dunker Walpole? Dead and buried. After he tried to kill me. We are not sorry to see him gone. But it was you who carried out his final betrayal. Why? Money was my only aim. Should I find comfort in that? You murdered our brothers and sisters in Havana. He has the sense, mentor. James tells me you treated with the Templars there. Did you see the man they called the Sage? Aye. Would you recognize his face if you saw it again? I reckon so. I must be certain. Not a word. Come on. You walked me blind and backwards into this mess, kid. Who the hell was that jester back there? Atabai. An assassin. And my mentor. So you're all part of some daffy religion? We're assassins and we follow a creed, aye. But it does not command us to act or submit. Only to be wise. Oh, do tell. I'd love to hear it. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. This is the world's only certainty. Everything is permitted. I like the sound of that. Thinking what I like and acting how I please. Ah! The way forward's blocked. That's a door, I reckon. Aye. There should be some way to open it. A mechanism somewhere. I like a capstan. Mm -hmm. Those blocks up there. Try moving. So it's you lot them Templars have been chasing then? Until you came along and mucked things up, it was us chasing them. We had them running scared. They have the upper hand now. The door's mechanism seems to be broke. Let's find another way around. Follow on, man. Jump! Enough to curse you with, kid! Must be a great treasure beyond. Treasure. Right. Whatever's waiting at the end of this path had better be worth my time. That'll depend on you. How's that? What I'm taking you to see may spin your head right round. I only hope you could take the shock of it. I can handle myself.
Is this it, then? The grand prize your mentor asked me to see looks nothing like the man they call the Sage, I'm sorry to say. Keep your trousers tied up. With one more riddle to solve. These statues are like the ones we've seen before. Pictures carved. There's pictures carved on the floor as well, but not of the same sort. There's a correspondence there. But what? Predators. The other is prey. Which predator goes with which prey? That's the question. Right, there's your correspondence. Match a predator with its prey. him the sage but this thing must be hundreds of years old older still you're certain it's him aye it's the eyes that mark him did the templars say why they wanted this sage they drew some of his blood into this small glass cube like this one aye they meant to ask him about the observatory too but he escaped huh we're finished here. Quiet. The statue in the temple. Was that the man you saw in Havana? Spreading likeness, aye. It seems another sage has been found. The race for the observatory begins anew. Is that what we're whispering? This is your doing, Captain Kenway. The maps you sold to the Templars have led them straight to us. And now the agents of two empires know exactly where we operate. Leave this to me, Mentor. They have taken Edward's crew as well. I wonder what their lives are worth to him. Take this. You'll attract no attention. 
and take fewer lives. Use them darts on this one coming now. Quick! Quiet and effective, see? Would the day goes get it? They're pulling it out of the ground, aren't they? Many thanks, but no forgiveness. Slaver brought these soldiers. Lawrence Prince himself. He's off me. He ain't got nothing on us. They can perish if this ever happens again. Look, all I
Is it out of kindness you do this? Or give? Thanks, brother. Who's out there? See that mangy old codger? He's a Dutch slaver called Lawrence Prince, living now like a king in Jamaica. Bastard's been a target for years. Bloody hell, we nearly had him. By God, you bravos are a cheery bunch, eh? All frowns and furrowed brows. Captain Kenway. You have remarkable skills. Oh, thanks, mate. It comes natural. But you're churlish and arrogant, prancing around in a uniform that you have not earned. Everything is permitted. Isn't that your motto? I absolve you of your errors in Havana and elsewhere. But you are not welcome here. Sorry, mate. Wish it were otherwise. Cheery bunch of mates you've got. You deserve scorn, Edward. Prancing about like one of us, bringing shame to our cause. And what is that? Your cause? To be blunt, we kill people. Templars and their associates. Folks who'd like to control all the empires on Earth. Claiming it's in the name of peace and order. Sounds like to cast his dying words. You see? It's about power, really. About lording over people. Robbing us of liberty. That another message from one of your friends? Aye. I'll show you. <laughs> 